Summertime, summertime. Here at the old GWG channel. And uh, I have approximately 15 minutes of <laughs> game time to do it. Oh, it was a long week. Uh, almost 60 hours. But uh, we are eager to get back to some Cactus Air Force. And we got some P500 news. We'll be right back. All right. On the GMC site, we have some P500 info. And we have a credit card captured, which means we've been charged for a game, but it has not yet been shipped. So we're all excited about uh, games coming down the pipeline from GMT. We got at least two of them from GMT, and I think at least two of them from Compass Games. Till then, we are here with the game design by Joseph Miranda and Decision Games. Now, I just seen on YouTube that uh, Mr. Miranda has just released another uh, Pacific War game based on his Midway Solitaire game, I guess, that we had a video on earlier. We purchased that game, had a great time with it, good game, but I think he's got a Coral Sea Solitaire. <laughs> Might be time to visit the old uh, hobby store. Yeah, that was a good game. We're uh, definitely impressed with this first incarnation of the Midway Solitaire game. And like I said, this is, this is an old one here. Let's see what date we got here. Is this 2000? Oh, 2012. So, yeah, you're talking at least a decade old. Wow, time just flies by. But, uh, yeah, we need to take care of a little mid-air combat. Now, a little note on strategy here and the way I've been playing it, which, like I said, this is only my first game. I had a little bit of a learn-through. But I'm um, looking for my little... Oh, sorry about that. Don't know where to place these things. But uh, now what I do in my first learn through is, you know, we got all these units basically so just launched them on up. So and the first initial, if you don't know much about the game, you're just going to launch your planes on up. He launches all his, you know, you have your fights and everything. But uh, as I was saying, these targets get bombed pretty quick. There might be a strategy in which you want to hold back your fighters. And when the bombers approach, you know, try to try to give some much of a defense to some of these allied uh or rather, Japanese targets that are ally uh, positions. Uh, good luck. You can see we're totally outnumbered on uh, numbers of aircraft, at least in this game here. So what we really did is went out and bombed targets that were that didn't have combat air patrols above them. They were pretty much open targets where we can get there first and bomb them. Yeah, if you want to have a different strategy, you can, like I said, keep your planes more at a on a field, but you risk you know them getting bombed a big thing on this game is bombing airfields but they must have units on there you can't bomb an airfield out of operation airfields will always be in effect you best time to bomb is when they're stuck with planes on them just like an aircraft carrier stuck with planes on a deck and that's another strategy you can employ but uh like you see all these bombed out targets they weren't protected so i mean some of them might have anti-aircraft fire and stuff like that but uh you know you might be able to hold back and see if you can't send up some fighters to protect them. I don't think they do that, they, that good, so I think we're doing it pretty much the way uh, maximize. Like I said, it's all it's all, only a game. It might have a military flavor, but it's all about uh, victory points and in our game. We're having a good game because it's tied. So here you go. When we come back, we're going to have us a little dog fight going on here. We got some Allied bombers trying to make their escape. Good luck. Looks like the Japanese are hard on their tail. They're trying to get down here to do Herbrides or Hebrides, whatever it's called. And I have been checking out some uh, ooh, videos on Guadalcanal on the Kings and Generals channel. And that is really interesting. They name all these little spots here. All these battles so we've, whenever it's one thing we do on this channel is when we get into a game we get all into it and get into you know history and everything about it pretty much become an expert <laughs> that's what it's all about they should have these things in schools so card play is coming to effect a little bit we've only had two turns a lot more turns coming up so we'll see what uh more content this game holds we're excited about our games that are coming down the pipeline and hopefully uh Love some new games, exciting games, good games coming on up. Hope everybody's having a good summer. Uh, like I said, my time is short. Uh, I, I think it's traditional breakfast time. 
So I'm going to go out and have me some breakfast. And I always got work to do. I feel a lot better. Uh, fully recovered from the heat exhaustion or stroke we had that one day. But we still got a lot of outside work to do, and that's what summer's all about. So gaming when we can here on GWG. All right, so we got a little dog fight here. Uh, Japanese player trying to get a little bit of a lead into victory points. We'll see if they can here. We got an A6M, aka Japanese Zero, maybe the Allied Code name for it. Not sure if that's it. I can't see. I call it a B26, but let's see here. I can't read. There you go. B PBY. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's a seaplane. And he was able to have two bombs. Whoa. Well, this seaplane is up against it now because he's on one die. A defensive fire against three die from the Japanese zero. Japanese three dice. Fives or sixes. Ooh, we got a five, so that might that might do something. Let's see here. Let's get this out of the way. There's a five here to represent the Japanese shot. And the allies are gonna get a good old blue die. Let's see if we can't get a high die. No good. Alright, so then we have here. Air superiority combat results. Allied fight Japanese fighters being fired on up. Allied fighters firing a Jap Allied Japanese bomber. Oh, okay, <laughs> hold on, we got nothing here now. All right, Japanese fighters, which is it, firing on Allied aircraft. He has a five, which means it is an abort. So the old, oh, we'll put him sideways. He's done. Used up all his fuel and all his maneuvers. Now he's gonna head back to base, but the PBY, more importantly, only goes over to the abort spot. Means he can come back up next turn instead of having to wait for card play. Damage units only come back into play via card play. So, there you go. Oh, now we have to see here. Oh, Allied target roster, Japanese target roster. Ooh, naval actions. One victory point for each allied unit in a diamond damage box, so you know, gets nothing for the abort. So there you go, that is important. Nothing for that. We did put them out of play. It'd be breakfast time, we come back, hopefully, well, probably tonight, a little some time for some killer. Cactus Air Force, war gaming play, we'll be back. All right, well, happy holidays, everybody. It'd be about a week later. And uh, we are ready to celebrate the 4th of July. <laughs> oh, and unfortunately for me, uh, after a 13-hour day yesterday, we got rained out today. So that means I have a midsummer five-day off vacation <laughs> around the 4th of July. So this is fantastic. Right now, we are still watching some of this uh, Guadalcanal from... Uh, Kings and generals, and here you can see down here we're just uh, getting into the part where the Marines landed. But you can see down here this little airstrip that they have yet to complete uh, will become Henderson Field later on. You're just uh, they're showing you that our Marines landed. The Navy uh, had a battle at Salvo Island, so they all had to bail because they got their butts kicked by the Japanese, so they left the uh, Marines here by themselves. And they're making themselves some defensive perimeters. They're going to bring in some supplies from here and uh, complete the uh, airstrip that will uh, come to be called uh, Pedersen Field. So we're kind of very early into the, you can see it on the video down there, very early into it. But uh, we were only able to capture maybe a minute or two with my schedule. But like I said, we got a week off now. We're getting fuller into this Guadalcanal documentary. And we're over here. With our Cactus Air Force that comes from Henderson Field. So, you know, so it's just a rough, you know, outline of the game. Of the map, you get a lot more detail in here. But uh, yeah, we're on it, having a great time with a day off. Uh, everything's done. Outside work, I got a few projects I can do, but me and I am taking advantage of this day and just relaxing and having some GWG time. And playing some games. Uh, we'll be back. Hope you guys are going to have a great 4th of July weekend. Or holiday. We'll be back. Alright, well, timestamp for our Gods and Generals video is August. 
and they have, you can see there, Henderson Field all constructed. On our game, though, we are in September, and the game started out, you know, I guess past the 15th and 16th of August with Henderson Field already completed. Now, uh, during our first turn in September, it only had a capacity of two uh, aircraft. Now it has a capacity of three, so I'm guessing numbers of aircraft and not squadrons, so you can uh, figure it any way you want. When we come back, it will be the Allied turn. We have units that are still based in Australia. They come up if they feel froggy. They only have, a, uh, I think, a two- or four-hour uh, air capacity, air, air time. They have to come back and refuel. They run out of fuel quick. And uh, some bombers. They're trying to make their way down here to New Hebrides. And uh, we'll see what we can do with the Allied turn. We'll be right back. A week later, Henderson Field would stretch its full 3,778 feet, receiving its first few aircraft from Marine Air Group 23 two days later, and thus forming the Cactus Air Force. All right, back to continue this game, the Allied move. Enjoying those uh, little clips from... Kings and Generals channel. For some reason, I always want to call it Gods and Generals. But it's a great uh, documentary channel for all your World War II or just military history needs. On this game, we are going to just get this group of bombers heading towards New Hebrides or whatever it's called. One, two, three. A real simple game here. Almost like bingo in its sim simplicity. That all is now. I gotta decide what I want to do with these first. We gotta see who we all got here. Now we have a capacity air capacity in one space of three for the allies and four for the Japanese. So they got us on that. Let's see what we got here. We ain't got much. I'm not seeing much on the way of oop. We're running out of battery power, and I have to uh do some uh barbecuing. I have to get stuff ready for our, our fourth of July holiday starting in earnest. So let me, oh, of course, press pause. <laughs> Don't touch that dial. When we come back, we will continue with some more Cactus Air Force. Having fun in GWG land. Hope you guys are having fun too. We will be back. <laughs> 